They're going to be doing a full Linux guide on how to use Linux on your Chromebook, so I hope you enjoy. By the way, this is a noob Linux guide, so I'm going to be going over everything you need to do to get the best performance out of all of your Linux apps. So yeah, guys, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications to so never miss when I upload. I look over daily tech content and Chromebook content just like this. We're so close to 1K subscribers, so make sure to smash that subscribe button, and let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, so now we're on my Chromebook. Assuming that you already have Linux installed on your Chromebook through the settings icon, I have a video on that in the description below as always. After that, you want to go to my Google Doc, which is in the description, which this tells you basically how to install all packages. To install any package, just open the terminal, which will be down here once you install it, and just type sudo apt get install and then your package name such as for instance to get chrome type sudo apt get install chromium browser if your package has a space in it you want to put the dash between it or else it will say it's an unknown command so that's basically how you do it it's either sudo apt install or it's sudo apt get for some apps but that's basically how you install it so like for instance sudo apt get install let's say odyssey sudo app get install lutris sudo app get install obs you get the idea that's basically how you install any packages if you have any questions make sure to put them in the comments down below if youtube doesn't turn them off because they can see a kid in the video so that's basically how you install packages through the terminal but if you're what if but if what if you're like what if i don't want to install it through the terminal well what you can do is go download a file from the website just search up let's say um obs file for linux download you download it and then you right click it to tap with two fingers and then you click install with linux beta and then it puts you through a whole installation progress those are the two ways to install linux apps but after that you have done both of those and your apps are like laggy and glitchy and stuff and you're like wondering why then you come through the right place well, you want to go to these websites, which are in the description below. First, you want to enable pointer lock for Linux applications. In case you ever install Minecraft on your Chromebook, you can notice that you can't turn a full 360 degrees. You can only turn about halfway. It's because you haven't enabled this. Just change it from default to enabled. And then at the bottom, it'll say restart. Just restart your computer. After that, go to the second one, which is in the description. It enables pointer lock options. You want to enable that one too, because that will also help turn a 360 degrees and Minecraft and much more games. You want to just click from default to enabled and then restart your computer. The final one is allow cross teeny mic setting. This allows you, let's say you install Odyssey or LLMS on your Chromebook. When you try to record audio, it doesn't pick up the audio, even though that you're talking is because you need to allow it to have access to your mic which is right here, just click enabled, and then you click restart to apply the changes. But there's one more, we're gonna go look at that right now. All right guys, so the next one is cross -teeny GPU support. Let's say this is for your games are laggy. Let's say your games are laggy and you're having no fun playing them at all. This is cross -teeny's GPU support. It gives the Linux applications access to your GPU and then it'll make your games run a lot smoother. Also, you should tweak the settings and lower the graphics and all that kind of stuff to get more performance. Just change it from default to enabled and then go ahead and restart your computer down there. And then you see your games will be like a lot smoother. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say for this Linux tutorial today. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is all I have to say for this tutorial. And basically all you need to know to get started on Linux to the proper way. You can just make sure you have all those experiments in the from the link in the description below enabled. And you know how to, now you guys know how to have good performance on a Chromebook. You know how to install apps through the terminal and through files. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications to never miss an upload. Also subscribe for a shout out. Comment down below subscribe and you get a shout out in my next video. Here are the shouts for this video on the screen right now. 
go subscribe to them. If you subscribe to me, one of these shots could be you guys. Enjoy Linux, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.